Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening, uh, Jolanda. Yes, this is Jolanda. Hi, Jolanda. Great to see you. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Thank you. Fine, fine. Thank you very much, teacher. How are you, teacher? Ah, uh, thank you for asking. I'm doing a little tired, but I feel great. I feel great. I really like to to work. You know, I really like to to be active, to be busy. That's the word. I like to be busy. Okay. I really like to be busy. Okay, you are ready to the class. <laughs> I'm ready for the class. I'm okay. always ready for my class. Okay, teacher. Were you in yesterday's class, Jolanda? No, teacher. Uh, yesterday I had a meeting with oh, yeah? my husband and I can't, I couldn't uh, come on time. Sorry. Oh, not a problem. So nice to meet you then. Uh, <laughs> let me introduce myself with you. I'm Kalev. I'm your official teacher for this specific module. So you will be a little stuck with me for the next four weeks. But don't get me wrong, I am honored to be with you. I have a big privilege to, to be able to interact, you know, using the worldwide language with people like you, people who are interested, people who have vision, people who have goals, right? Welcome, Ms. Yolanda. Let me say welcome to Carlos, Carlos Dominguez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Is this your first class? Yes. Uh, okay. the, the, um, the last uh, night, no. Um, no, 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 no connection um, the class for, for um, the world, <clears throat> um, the office at the um, 10 p.m. Okay, so you have no connection. No. You have no internet connection last night. Okay, teacher. Right? Right. But today you have. So I'm very happy you are coming to this class. I'm very proud to be with you today and, and, and during this module. So welcome. Welcome on board. Okay, Carlos? Okay, teacher. Thank you. My name is Kalev, by the way. Okay, teacher. Let me say welcome to, to, yes, Rafael. Rafael. Hello. How, how do evening. you pronounce your last name? Davu. Davu? Davu, yes. Where is it from? It's just a curiosity. He's from <laughs> Palestina. Oh, nice. So you kind of have roots from that area of the world. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. What's going on, my, Rafael? My grandfather was Palestina. He was he was from there? Yes. Your your grandfather. My oh. grandfather, grandmother, both grandfather and both grandmother. Your grandparents. Yes. And how about your dad? My dad born here in El Salvador. Your dad was born here. And also was born yes awesome awesome yeah you kind of have like a like a foreign looking you know <laughs> <laughs> like european or something i don't know yes <laughs> but i'm very happy to see you how was your day you ready it for the was class? fine yes it was good thank you i'm glad I'm glad to hear that uh, let's say welcome to the rest of the participants guys remember okay during the class is highly important for you to have your camera activated. I think you are familiarized with these uh, rules, with these uh, indications. Hmm? Okay, less, but because <laughs> <laughs> we want to see you, we want to interact 100% with you, you know, and also is active participation. So those are uh, two requirements. You know, this is a course that you don't have to pay any money at all. We don't charge you anything. But those two things, yes, we must have like face-to-face -face interaction and active 
active listening, active interaction. Let me say welcome to the rest of the participants real quick. I'm very excited to see you guys. Yesterday, there were just a few of you in the class. So I was like, guys, how many students are there? How many students is this group? <laughs> because, you know, I was feeling that something was missing. So let me say welcome to Daniel Castro, Daniel Alexander Castro. Yeah, that's me. Good evening, sir. Nice to meet you. It's your first class too today, isn't it? Yeah, that is. It is my first class. Uh, we do some some faces of, in the class look like kind of familiar because we were in the the past um, course with some of them. Um, but yes, my name is Daniel Castro, and I'm married. Um, 40 years old with two daughters. Happily married, right? Happily married. Uh, yes, happily married. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hesitate. <laughs> I can't, hey, I can't say the, the opposite because probably tomorrow we won't in, in the class. Stop it, stop it. Don't even say uh, yeah. it. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> His wife is next to him. <laughs> oh, kidding. Not really, no kidding. not really bad. No, not really. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, yeah, I like I that. I like that. You know, it's great to have a good sense of humor. It's an honor also to meet you, Daniel. Welcome to the class. Let me also Thank say you. welcome to Fernando. I don't see your full name, though. Um, but would you please introduce yourself for us? Fernando, go ahead. Good evening. Uh... Hi guys, <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> okay, this is my first class. No, with them. <laughs> okay, this is my first class with you. Uh, I'm happy to see again, guys. Yolanda, Carlos, Daniel, Rafael, Sara, and I see Ir I saw Irving, but uh, uh, not is here, right? So uh, uh, I'm 27 years old and. And I'm happy, and I like to make a jokes uh, in discussions group, and my team know. <laughs> and so that's it. I'm Fernando Santa Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando Santa Cruz. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'm very glad to hear that you guys have uh, been together in the previous module. So you guys are familiarized already. So I feel like uh, I've been missing something, huh? I've been missing, you know, some good moments you guys have had during the classes. All right. You know, partnership is always important. I think partnership is also a key factor, you know, in, in a connection that a class must have. You guys are, you guys look very uh, sociable, very united as a group. And that's very good. Welcome, Fernando. It's definitely a pleasure uh, to see you. I see is your first. You know, I, I'm starting to to kind of think because yesterday I had a you know few different students, and today I have um, you know the students that were absent last night. They are attending tonight, but the ones that attended yesterday are not here, except. Rafael, he was here yesterday. That's something curious. Anyways, I leave you that for you to think about. Uh, let me say welcome to Chrysia Melara. Good evening, lady. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, teacher. Uh, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here uh, in the 11th, too. And nice to meet you, teacher. Likewise, likewise. It, I feel like a different energy being with advanced students, you know. I feel great because we are all able to connect our ideas, understand from each other, understand from, you know, learn from our, our, our partners. So it's very, it's very uh, intense. It's very interesting. Crisia, I'm happy to meet you too. Let me say welcome to Zara Martinez Diaz. Hello, Zara. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Hello? She's first. 
Are you there? Uh, yes, we are there. Uh, here, look like Sarah freeze. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, she froze. Oh, something happened. Thank you for the heads up. Well, five minutes feedback from last night's class. And I think you are on the spot, Rafael, because you are the only one who attended yesterday's class. So can you help us? Can you tell us a little bit so your classmates uh, become aware about what happened, what they missed last night? We saw a relative pronouns, uh, which, who, where, that, when. Mm -hmm. We kind of focused on that and who especially, uh, yeah. but we also mentioned other relative pronouns, okay? Uh, but mainly we were practicing with who and that. Wanna say an example? Wanna start uh, an example, Rafael, for your classmates? Or should I go? Uh, yes, uh, let me see. That, um... That is important. I, I like yeah. to, yes, I like to work with uh, responsible people that are punctual. Excellent. I also like to have um, a cell phone that 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 has a lot of storage. You know. I like to have friends who are loyal. <laughs> Difficult nowadays. Uh, Rafael was saying last night that he likes to work with people that are responsible. I could say that I love to have students, advanced students like you, who are so interested, so responsible. You know, I love that. I love that spirit. That is a positive energy that I breathe around these classmates here. So those are some of the examples. Are you a little familiarized with that, folks? Yes. Yes? Okay. Let's play a little dynamic then. I will start. I will say the first part of it, and then you will continue using either that, plus the compliment or who plus the compliment. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try, let's try, let's try. I like cars. I like cars. That have four uh, doors. Awesome, Jolanda that have four doors. So Jolanda thinks about the convenience of having a four door car, right? You are thinking in your family. Good job. Somebody wants to give it a try. Maybe you I have like a different cars, opinion. I have a four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, awesome, mm -hmm. Mauricio. That's true, right? Especially mm -hmm. when you need to carry heavy stuff. Awesome. Okay, let's change, let's change the sentence, okay? And help me with the compliment. I like to chat with people. With friends who are friendly. You got it. I like to chat with people that enjoy um, think in the same way with me. Okay, that enjoy or think in the same way with me. I like that. I like to chat with people. Try guys, try. I like to chat with people who are very, uh, who are very, 
I like to chat with people that have a good conversation or have a good have conversation. A lot. Talk that at they it. They have to speak a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. Me too. I like to chat with people who have good conversation, interesting topics to talk about, right? Not the same and the same about politics and stuff like that. Welcome. Good evening, Irvin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bye, 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 bye. Sophia, mm -hmm. good evening. Welcome to the class. We will move on with the class. That was a little warm up from yesterday. Thank you so much. I see you guys are connected or, or you might have checked the material um, at the platform too, right? So that's great. That's very responsive Teacher. from you. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes, sir. I have I have a problem in the question on number one in the platform. You um, have a question, okay. On the platform? And the, and the, um, and not, um, the platform um, and question, the answer, the answer, the, um, the question number one. Question Compliment. number one. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Carlos. I problem, I, yes, I problem, um, no, no right, um, correct. It doesn't write correctly, okay. Yes. Okay, Carlos, that's a technical problem in the platform, correct? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now, for a technical problem, I can no, no, help no, 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 take me down. Is, is, um, is, is my, is my, is my, my, answer no correct direct. oh okay so you need help with the answer yes uh, okay yes, okay teacher. i can help you not in this hour okay carlos i can help you not right now okay i can help you out of the class because right now this time is gold this time is money okay so later after the class can you chat me can you chat me yeah. carlos and i can mm. help you okay okay teacher Thank you, sir, for your understanding. We need Thank to move you. on. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you so we can uh, see the same thing. And there you go. Okay, so we will talk a little bit about adjectives. We will talk a little bit about adjectives. Uh, you guys are very knowledgeable, I know for a fact. So you will be able to explain in your own words, what an adjective is, or at least what is it used for? Can we have a volunteer to explain what is an adjective? It's for describe a person. It's something we use to describe a person. Okay, okay. Animal or things. Animal or things, I like that, that sounds more complete. Okay, can you guys give examples of adjectives that you know? Go ahead. My pets are very friendly. Friendly, okay, good. Next. Pretty. Pretty. Intelligent. Intelligent, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, okay, I'm listening. Continue, 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 please. Nasty. Nasty. Okay. Sounds good. Quiet. Talkative. Quiet. What did you say? Talkative? Yes. A person that talks too much, right? Talkative. Okay. Continue. Continue. Brainstorm. Come on. Continue. Don't stop. Handsome. Handsome. Okay. Handsome. I like it. Next. Fat. Fat, okay, yes. Angry. What? Angry. Angry? Yes. Like, like angry? Mm. Yes. yes. Shy. Shy, I like it, shy. Okay, personality, go ahead. What else? Mm. Continue, don't stop. Continue, Beautiful. brainstorm. Beautiful, we said it already. Don't repeat adjectives. Oh, okay. Sad. Sad. Okay, you got it. Lear. What? Lear. Liar. 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 Liar? Liar? Yes. Uh, and Spanish mentiroso. Liar? Okay. 
could be matches, matches, liar, funny. liar, funny, funny. Okay, good, good. Thank you guys. Awesome, awesome. I really like that. I really like your interaction. Thank you for participating. Okay, let's move on. We will study some adjectives um, today. Uh, you might know. Okay, but let's check them out. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easygoing. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea. James and Mr. Johnson and then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual so let's listen to the audio program at this time okay I would like so have you seen Andrea lately yeah hold on hold on hold on before we move into that before into before listening to the audio I would like to go over the um, the adjectives, okay? Um, here we have a, a list of nine adjectives, right? Uh, so let's go one by one, okay? Can you guys pronounce the first one? How do you say the first one? Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Do you really understand uh, an easy going person? Do you understand the concept? Yes, I think, I think it's like friendly. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe. It has to do, it has to do with being friendly, but it's about oh, it's very a person calm or a someone that is very calm. That's right, someone that doesn't get impacted easily, like doesn't get angry like easily like other people mm -hmm. do, right? This person, I think this person is very mature, you know? Do you consider yourself an easygoing person? I think so. You think so? No, yeah. in my case, not. In your case, no. Okay, yes. No. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, nowadays we're going, um, we are actually going under a lot of stress, right? And I have noticed, I don't know if you have noticed, but I have noticed <laughs> that a bunch of people, they get angry so fast, you know, even early in the morning, starting the day beginning the day with that negative attitude and and maybe sometimes it's not our fault but you know what is around us what's happening around us it also uh get get us stressed 
So this person who is easygoing is, is really, you know, at another level, you know, emotionally. That's what I'm saying. Okay, number two. How do you pronounce number two? Egotistical. 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 Okay. Egotistical. Ego. Uh huh. Egotistical. Okay. Egotistical. What What do you think? Do you understand the concept? Can you explain a little bit about this? What, who is an egotistical person? Be selfish. Yes, it has to do with being selfish. It has to do with being selfish, definitely. This is a person. Are narcissist. What? Narcissist. It's True. a person. Uh -huh. Very negative. This is definitely a negative attitude, a negative behavior. Like high self-esteem? Definitely a very yeah. high self-esteem. This is a person that gets mad at you, okay? And this person doesn't talk to you for a period of time. <laughs> Have you seen that? The like person. this person gets angry for, for a few days, right? And then comes back to you and talks to you again like nothing happened. This is a someone tem temperamental. It's true. It's true. It has or to bipolar. Do... <laughs> yeah, bipolar. Bipolar, that's right. In a bad mood. <laughs> bad mood. Moody. Moody, yeah. Moody, M-O-O-D-Y. That's true. Okay, let's go with number three. How do you pronounce that? Inflexible. 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 Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, it's someone that it, it won't change even if so many words somebody can say it, it won't change. Inflexible. Like yeah. square person? Square, <laughs> that's the one. You got it. Square, like even if you tell this person a thousand, a million times how to do things, <laughs> he or she will continue doing it the way he or she wants to. Hmm. Stubborn. <laughs> Stubborn. Like many Salvadorians nowadays, right? Stubborn. <laughs> what is that stubborn? I Do you know stubborn? That. No, I don't. I don't like know like terco, that. terca, like ah, stubborn. Okay. Definitely, it's negative. How do you spell this word? It's right there on number three. It's s s t u. Ah, okay, sorry. B b o r n. Okay, what about number four? How do you pronounce number four? Mothers. 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 Modest, modest. Oh, yeah, modest. that's right. Okay, do you understand this one? Do you understand mm -hmm. the concept? Can you tell me a little bit? What's your opinion? But it's not a simple person, no. Is someone simple? Yeah, someone very modest, someone that doesn't like to really yeah. talk about. Yeah. His herself uh -huh, go ahead help another people and um, without any retribution Not retribution okay. it's true it's true sophia says it's someone who likes helping other people without any retribution right i like that one someone modest can you can you can you give an a scenario to describe this one modest when can someone be modest how do you recognize a modest person i think kenny reef maybe is a modest person why uh because he helps a lot of people and 
he never uh, wait uh, to recover these favors, according to the uh, stories. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I okay. don't know. <laughs> you don't know, but you you are sharing the 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 facts. Okay. Okay, I like it. It could be. It could be right. Um, someone that doesn't brag is someone that it's someone who doesn't brag. B R A G. Like talk about you know I have a licenture, I have a master's degree, I'm this, this, and that. You know I am. I got this. I did this. Uh, someone that doesn't say stuff like that, right? That is someone modest. Are you modest? Sometimes I am modest. When, okay, sometimes you're modest. That's a smart answer. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just like Fernando. I'm a joker too. <laughs> okay, what about five? Can you pronounce number five? Sociable. 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 Okay, sociable. Do you understand that concept? Yes, no. On on a scale from one to ten, how sociable are you? I think eight. Why? Eleven. Oh, really? Why? Tell me why. I think all the people are very social. The people you think like to, so? to enjoy sure? to stay with the other people. Oh, you say that because you are very sociable, Mauricio. I'm sociable. Yeah, I'm sociable. Okay, I, but I but not that, everybody yeah. is. Um, do you think so? I don't know. I don't know. We're discussing. Tell me your opinion. Who else? On a scale from one to ten, how sociable are you and why? I don't know, maybe I, I ate, one to 10, I ate sociable. Okay, so you're uh -huh. very sociable. Okay, you're very smiley. You like to greet people. You have to, you are like that. I like it, that's good. Somebody else? Six or seven. Because Six or for seven. example, when I was in a meeting, I wait that other people told me and after I can talk. Okay, so you, you don't like to, to say the, the icebreaker, Fernando? No. Uh-huh. No. Okay, okay. Does, no. that, does that have to do with, with being a little shy? Do you consider yourself being a little shy, Fernando? Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe, huh? Could be. Okay, I'm getting to know you. That's why I'm asking you because I don't know you. It's my first day with you. So I want to have like a perception of each of you. Okay, number six. Can you pronounce it? Stingy. Stingy. I'm sorry. Stingy. 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 Someone who doesn't like sharing. Do you understand the concept? Yes. Yes. Are you stingy? A little bit? No. No. <laughs> I don't understand the concept. You don't understand the concept? No. Okay. Any volunteer to explain the concept? Please explain. Please, class, help. Help us. <laughs> it's like someone selfish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For example, put in a scenario. Put in a scenario. Um, okay. I'm, I'm eating a fruit. Like a, like a big piece of what? That watermelon like, or something like, like that? Like an apple. Okay. Just to say a name, I'm eating an apple and someone, someone else, someone Sophia. else. Sophia. And, <laughs> and Sophia what? And Sophia what? Sophia Sophia want a little yeah. piece of apple and I said, no, it's mine. No, no, it's only mine. <laughs> only for me. 
<laughs> so that's been selfish. That's been uh, stingy. And also being stingy is when you have a lot of something, guys. When you have a lot of something and you don't share. Even, no, even though you have a lot. <laughs> so could be money, could be what? Could be food. No. Food, money. No le gusta compartir. <laughs> at all, at all, miss. At all, um, yes. Someone that really doesn't like to share, doesn't like to provide anything, only for himself, only for herself. Right? No. So I don't I'm consider not. myself. You, you're not stingy? Are you stingy? No. no. Not really, right? No. That's good. No, actually, we, um, as Salvadorians, we have that, that characteristic, right? That we uh, like to, you know, share. We like sharing. We like to, we are very, like, supportive. We like to support when other one, other person is in necessity or, or difficulties. Only, only in the traffic. <laughs> only, only in the traffic, though, <laughs> or accident. Doesn't like, don't or, like to share. <laughs> or some cars in the, in the street. That's a good topic. We need another class for that one. <laughs> I think uh, you uh, like to uh, share because you don't have a lot of uh, things. Uh, you share your your uh, I don't know the little the little you have. Yeah. Also, yes, that's another way to see it. That's true. That's the even better. That. Your dogs need food. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stingy, right? <laughs> You're not stingy. He's asking you for its dinner. We <laughs> need it. That's an important example, you see? <laughs> All right, let's go next one. Number seven. Can you pronounce Support, it? Supportive. 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 I don't know. <laughs> try, try, try. Supportive. 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 The, word, the word is support. Supportive. Support, supportive. 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 A person is a supportive person is someone who is helpful. Helpful. That's the magic word. It's Are like you helpful? To help. so yes. Hey, some people don't know that we come to this word to help. Some people only like to receive attention, but we all have come to this world to serve at, at any point of life, you know? We have to have that. So supportive, someone that likes to help. Let me help you. How beautiful is that expression, huh? I can help you with that. How does the other person feel when you ask, hey, let me help you with that. You know what? I can help you. How does the other person feel? It feels great. It feels that you are important to other one. Are you supportive, guys? I think so. Yes, I am. Do you I like try. helping others? Yes. I like it. How? Mm -hmm. Can you explain how do you help others? When the people has a, a have difficult have a difficult or problem in in their life, I like to help to help them. Helping is not is not about one action specifically, right? You can be helpful by you know providing any kind of thing, even even when you are understanding with someone you are being helpful sometimes when you listen some person that i have that they have problems and they need to talk this is a big uh, a big help sometimes 
just by listening to all the other person's problem, you are being helpful because the other person just needs to release, let that information go and you are listening. That's a great example, sir. You Sometimes got it. a hug, a hug is a big help too. A hug? Yes. That's true. That's true. That's been supportive. That's been helpful. Uh, when you see someone, when you see someone happy, right? Hey, you say, hey, how you doing? Right? You say hello. But when you see someone that is not happy, it is he's or she is with a serious face, you know, a little down. You just pass by or you ask, hey, what's wrong with you? What's your problem? Are you okay? Can I help you with anything? That it's been supportive. It's a great, it's a great attribute for a person. So if you're supportive, man, I'm glad for you. Thank you for your examples. Thank you for your participation. Number eight, can you pronounce number eight, please? Temperamental. 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 Repeat, temperamental. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you understand the concept? Like bipolar person, bipolar, <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> One moment he's happy, five minutes later, it's he's it's not angry, easy to be angry, totally upset. There are, there are a bunch of people like that. There are a bunch of people like that. Now we call that uh, well, kind of toxic hey. people. Thanks, it's bad. Yes, yes. Um, do you have this behavior? Do you feel you have, you know, from one to 10, how temperamental are you? Are you temperamental? Sometimes. Do you know someone but who is temperamental? Uh, so, <laughs> for me, it's not When the people bad. is starborn. When the people are? Are starborn. That's correct. When Sometimes, go ahead. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but some people with high blood sugar, you know. Oh yeah. It is common, right? It's part of their symptoms. Yes. So it's Ooh. part of their daily life. That's a very difficult scenario, Fernando, because the person <laughs> is like that, and and you have to understand the person because the person is already like that. It's it's part of their sickness it's very different uh, sometimes i said sometimes it could be i have a temperamental but not all the time why why do you think that mm, for example with my daughter i can uh, i don't know you can't be happy them. all the time huh you fight with her. <laughs> you fight with your daughter now. No, what this, happens? For the discipline in my house. There, no, there I you go. Know. Yeah. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> but I, I have a question about yes, that. To put the rules. If you have, you know, if you have a reason, uh, you can react uh, in a few uh, mo moves. I don't know, but this is a temperamental person. Is this a per temperamental person? Because no. if, if the person has a reason, uh, I think uh, the person uh, reacts in a lot of moods, no? That's true. You have a point. Yeah. If a person has a valid reason why to be upset, then it's okay, right? Maybe it's a very big, uh, what? failure something very big just happened that impacted his or her life so he or she is very upset but temperamental is someone who always is like that every day is like that so it's different it's different if you get angry for a moment that's okay that's okay you need to deal with that you know softly um but yeah, if you are temperamental, that means that you get angry every day, every single moment. You have uh, 
uh, this uh, changing mood uh, situation. No, teacher is bad for the colon. It's bad, for, yeah, and it's bad. It's bad for your health. That's another point. Being angry, being upset, it's very, it's unhealthy. It's totally unhealthy. You are um, affecting your health. On the other hand, when you are happy, when you are with the positive energy, with the positive attitude, that's good for you. All your system is working right now. I sound like a doctor, but I read that. I'm telling you because I read it. <laughs> All right. Last one. Number nine. Unreliable. 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 Okay, we have reliable, repeat, reliable. Reliable. Re reliable. reliable. Again. Unreliable. 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 It's a little difficult. The positive adjective here, it's uh, reliable. Reliable. Uh, reliable. 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 Unreliable. Reliable. Yeah, you got it. And that's the negative. Unreliable. Um, someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Always breaking. Yes, a total liar. It, breaking promises. Your someone ex. that breaks promises. You can't trust. Did you need Your an ex. example? <laughs> yes. <Your ex>. <laughs> <laughs> No, for, for practicing purposes, uh, can you tell me an example? Can you tell me an a scenario? Well, I think our president is unreal, unreliable. <laughs> it's my opinion. Okay. <laughs> You're okay. Unreliable, stingy, inflexible, egoistic. All of them. <laughs> unreliable. Someone who doesn't comply his promises. Guys, if you promise something, do it. Do it. In general, right? In general. Okay. I think we're all set. Let's just pronounce them the last time. Please repeat after me. Easy going. Easy going. going. Egotistical. Egotistical. Inflexible. 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 Modest. 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 Sociable. 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 Stingy. 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 Supportive. 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 Temperamental. 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 Unreliable. 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 That was the that was a tricky one, huh? Unreliable. Unreliable. Reliable. 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 Unreliable. 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 Someone who is very irresponsible, okay? Irreliable. Unreliable. Unreliable. Okay. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to the audio program at this let's time. Let's listen to the audio. So have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Did you get it? Yes. yes. Which one is it? Number one. That's right. So Andrea is very what? Egotistical, 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 and egotistical. Ego, ego, egotistical, and stingy. Opposite of generous. Good job, folks. Let's go over at number two. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. 
James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast! Yeah, he's a great cook too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, "It's nothing, no big deal." Yep, that sounds like James. That sounds like James. Did you get it? Yes. Very, very, very um, understandable. Which one is it? Number the second two. One. The second. Sociable and easy going, just like you, right, guys? You're very sociable and easy going. Party, All right. Party. Have you met the new apartment manager, Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? <clears throat> he told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Which one was that? Actually, does it? He three. told me number three. Three. And unreliable. Temperamental. Temperamental. And unreliable. Temperamental. Unreliable. Unreliable. That was the that was the the difficult one tonight, huh? Unreliable. All right. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Let's move on. Let me just go forward here. As you know, you must go ahead and um, keep updated with your with your platform. Right? I need your help with that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is for you. Yes, this, this is for you also. Okay. This is something we will actually focus on deeply on Monday, okay? Right now, which is which is we'll uh, introduce it. The clauses, it and one. Hello everyone. In this class you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say for example you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday. right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There I just express the likes and dislikes and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that I'm going to use expressions such as I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, The first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary. Okay uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna cut that uh, video right there because uh, we're running out of time. And um, we'll actually see that on Monday, okay? So today, talking about yesterday and today, tell us, tell us a little bit about your experience. Tell us a little bit about your knowledge. What is new, something you didn't know? Any comment about our class or any suggestion? Let's just start with Jolanda because I didn't hear you yesterday. Are you there? 
Me? Yolanda? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, for me it's okay. I like the class today. I don't have any uh, comments. You don't have any complaint about your teacher or your classmates? Mm, yeah, well, my classmates are very, very excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my teacher too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no, you, Yolanda. It's, it's good to see you again. Definitely. We're going to be four weeks, right? Dealing with this uh, English language. So we're going to help each other. Uh, Rafael, you have been, um, you were able to attend yesterday and today. How do you feel? How's it going? I feel nice. I like the, the class and it's good the change the teacher because uh, we can um, hear the different the different kind of English. Do you always get a different teacher, do you? Um, yes, only only the last one uh, it was repeat the teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. That's great. How have you been feeling, Mauricio? Mauricio has been attending classes yesterday and today, so that's great. Tell us about it, Mauricio. No, the same. The, I am agree with with Rafael. Uh, we is very is very nice to to hear uh, to hear another. Uh, another form of to give the class, no? It's uh, it is nice uh, it, it to because we are accustomed. Uh, we are to usual uh, the other voice. So someone we have another another. Uh, um, I don't know how do you say that, but methodology. To, to the technology, the or the. The, the form that you sp speak and give the class for us. Methodology. You know, the methodology, or, the, me the methodology, it's a, it's a different. So it's, uh, it's nice because we, uh, we, to, we have to force our mind to put more attention and to, to, and to put more uh, in, into intonation too and how it's uh, it's it's nice to 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 do that do you say do you say i am agree or i agree i agree i, I agree. agree i agree okay cool uh, yes you need to experience so we can say i am agree no you can't you can't i was just no. i was just checking because i i heard you said i am agree the correct is i agree I agree. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, it's healthy for you as a students to experience different methodologies with different teachers. This is not about falling in love with one teacher. No, this is about you. This is about your future. You need to experience different uh, methodologies and, 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 and pronunciation, right? Uh -huh. You have to be put in different types of scenarios, uh, different types of situations, so you can adapt yourself, right? So let me hear, let me see, we have uh, Daniel. How do you feel, Daniel? Um, yes, being honest, uh, that the first class with you, I feel very comfortable because you, as, as Mauricio said, the pronunciation is good, uh, make us, Put attention and being always uh, focused. Focus. Yes. yes. I'm going to be yeah. asking you questions, and, and I really like you are with your camera activated. I, I really like to follow rules and I like to have the best classes. So I hope you help me also with your platform, right? That's your job uh, during these next days. I hope you complete it. Uh, we have to say goodbye for now. Uh, we're gonna have um, a little break and we'll continue on Monday, guys. Please, Thank please, you, at 8 p.m. Let's practice our English. Yes. See you then. Okay, Thank you, good night. Good night. Hey, good bye. night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Be safe. Bye.